over here at the table saw is where we're going to cut the tenons for the on the styles um, that will go into the mortises on the legs and um, the leg I'll be there show you a little bit of detail um, the legs have mortises all the way up on two sides and that way you know for the front panels and the side panel you know all the way around and each leg will um, look like this my legs are cut out of um, inch and a half by inch and a half thick wide uh, they're cut out of some eight quarter stock that I had that I milled down um, and I was lucky enough that uh, out of one of these eight quarter slabs that I was telling you about I was able to get um, all four legs out of one which left me quite a few for a future project so what I uh, set up in the table saw now is uh, a half inch dado blade set once again make sure everything is unplugged when you're doing all your setup and everything um, God forbid if this wasn't unplugged I would not be touching my blade but make sure everything's unplugged and safe um, and, and always be aware of you know what's going on you know when you're around this machinery but um, <clears throat> on the styles my tenons are three to three eighths of an inch thick and they're a half inch wide so the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got my half inch dado blade set up here and uh, we're going to cut the styles first and then I'll take out one of my shims uh, bring it down to a three agent set and we'll cut the mortises for the uh, the legs and when I was talking about the workarounds um, when it comes to the mortises for the legs um, you'll see one of the workarounds that I have to do now I do have a mortiser but um, I don't I laziness uh, sitting there mortising all those legs both sides all the way down it would just it taken forever so I go ahead and cut the mortise on the table saw now if you notice the <clears throat> mortise stops about two inches because I want basically like a two inch leg um, you know from where when my styles are in there it gives me a, a two inch leg um, and then I cut a little detail here but so what I'm trying to say the point I'm trying to get at is my mortises stop you know about two and three eighths inches before I get to the end of the board and normally you know when you're running through a saw you're going straight through well in this particular instance and I'll show you exactly how I did it um, so you could be absolutely safe as possible doing it uh, once I got to a certain length or distance on my leg where I wanted the mortise to stop I would take the piece off and then I would go over to my mortiser and mortise the last little bit uh, you know because the depth of the the, the three inch mortise when you get close to the end you know of course that's the round blade it's going to be a lot shallower and it's going to kind of be like a little swoop up so you have to clean it up and bring that down to uh, the last depth now if you don't have a mortiser then by all means you can you know basically chisel that out um, working with hickory make sure your chisels are sharp and uh, clean up that last little bit it's, it was about you know two inches of uh, cleanup that I had to do so basically I did just do two inches and two inches all on all four legs of my uh, with my mortiser um, and then uh, go back and kind of clean everything up with a chisel and we'll get into that in a minute uh, and I'll show you that work around but one of the things now depending on how your shop is set up um, you want I, I, the term I mean I've heard it used before I think it was George over there at uh, 
Woodworkers Guild of America, you, you want your tools to kind of talk to each other. And that's, that, that's exactly how you put it, and that's exactly correct. Uh, with my legs, and, and I know we're going to be getting into the styles here in a minute, but let me talk a little bit more about the legs. When I run my legs through the table saw, I have to be able to go over to my mortiser and have the same exact distance on my fence so when I'm mortising and cleaning up that last little bit that everything stays, you know, nice so you have a nice clean mortise all the way down. So you want, basically my saw setup is talking to my mortise setup and it's, you know, so I can go from one right to the other and everything is, and I don't have to worry about anything um, being out of whack or, you know, my mortise kind of, you know, being jagged and, 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 and messed up. And it's all in your setup. It really is. Uh, the, the, that little bit of time you take to set things up properly uh, really pays for itself in the end. Uh, the end results are, are so much better. So we'll get into that further, but let's go ahead and get everything set up for these uh, tenons. And um, I know I've got this here that I've done earlier, but I have just the uh, scrap, you know, test piece that I made earlier as well, so I could have it for future reference um, of my tenon setup. So I can just come right over here to my table saw and set everything up. I, I installed a sacrificial fence onto um, my fence. On my table saw fence, I put a sacrificial fence. And um, that way, if I had to, if, if I needed to bury that blade a little bit, into um, you know to to get everything just right, then then I'm able to with the sacrificial fence. Uh, I'm able to cut right into it without messing up my table saw fence. So last little bit of setup here on that. Bring this blade back down. I can take and um, get my blade height right. Once again, I can't stress it enough, and, and, and everybody stresses it, you know, that you, when you see videos like this, is make sure that your tools are unplugged. Uh, it only takes a second to um, unplug something and plug it back in to be safe, and it only takes a second to lose a finger or hand or an arm. So uh, I'd much rather take that second to unplug something and make it as safe as possible for me than uh, take a second and lose something that I could really need but um so let me get everything set up here okay and now I can bring my fence over And uh, we're ready to go. So take Ooh. see. Make sure you got your ears and eyes on and go back over. That was my light switch. Plug everything in. And uh, I'm good to go.
Now the one thing I forgot to do was turn on my dust collection system. I hate that. But I'm sitting here talking to you guys and uh, I forgot to go uh, flip the switch for my dust collection system. I need to get one of those handy dandy little remote things that, you know, kick it on or, um, you know what I mean. One of them things. So now, and uh, I tell you guys, if you don't have a set of these in your shop, man, go to Harbor Freight, go somewhere and get you up a, a set of calipers. I mean, it. Um, I, I just recently got these probably about a month ago, and I have used them so much. Uh, it, it's unbelievable the things that I've used them for. And one, when I'm milling my wood to make sure that I'm exactly three quarter inches thick, and uh, like when I'm doing my tenons, and uh, get my setup for my tenons. And let's see here if you can. You won't be able to read that. The lighting's terrible, but anyway, three eighths, perfect. So, it, and and I mean, I could, yes, sit there and you know try to, you know, is it gonna fit? Uh, you know, is it tight? Is it this and that? And then go back and readjust my blade. But um, these calipers have just uh, makes it so much easier. I don't I don't have to because the more times you sit there and and test fit pieces and all it kind of it that snug fit that you might have had when you first started uh you kind of lose that a little bit you know by putting the pieces together and everything so i like my little caliber so get yourself a pair my recommendation <laughs> all right um so that's the setup for uh cutting that tenon on the styles and basically you want to go through and uh, this is my test piece again you want to go through and repeat that process for all of your styles and um, let's see I've got one two three four five six seven eight, eight styles to do I had to do the math there for a minute um, and uh, then I'm you know everything's set up I can run them through get them done and uh, move on to the legs and uh, that's what we're gonna do so I'll mill these you guys go ahead and mill yours no, I'm just kidding you know you're watching the video sitting at your desk and out of the shop and uh, we'll um, move on to the legs and the mortises and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about with the workaround and uh, we'll get started on that all right guys all right guys I didn't realize um, but I've got quite a few segments just in this long video, so I don't want the videos to be too long. So I'm going to end here. Um, we just finished cutting that tenon on all the styles. If you stuck and with me this long, you know, through all this, I uh, hope I'm keeping it somewhat interesting and um, showing you some things that it's hard, really hard to not beat a topic to death there's a lot of people out there showing a lot of the same thing and um you know i want to you know make project videos uh because it's something that that i actually enjoy doing uh or i'm really enjoying it but i want to make sure that you know i don't repeat a lot of the stuff that's already out there uh to just make it towards mundane and then nobody will be interested in me <laughs> it's been like been there done that uh you know what's this guy have that's uh new to offer you know kind of thing hopefully i can offer something uh which i think i can but anyway long story short i appreciate you sticking with me uh and um we'll uh continue this and pick this up in the next video so thanks and uh, stay tuned.